Hey there, welcome back to another video. My name's Bruce and in this one, I'm gonna show you how I made this wagon wheel shaped mallet. There's a reason behind this. This old mallet, we believe from my great grandfather, was made from an old wagon wheel. And I wanted to recreate that, but just kind of use some different materials. So that's what I'm doing in this video. Let me show you how I made it. I'm starting out by milling up some of the materials. The head is going to be made out of jatoba, which is Brazilian cherry, and the handle is going to be made out of hickory. I'm trying something a little bit different for the tenon on this mallet. I'm actually drilling out a hole into the head and then I will use a scrap piece of wood with that same drill bit and drill out a hole into it. Then I will cut that hole exactly in half and use that as my template at the lathe. So to chuck this up in the lathe, it was not a perfectly square piece of wood. So I had to get a little bit creative to make sure that it could secure into the jaw of my chuck. And the solution for that was just a couple of other pieces of wood actually off cut from that same piece that helped it to be secure into the four jaw chuck and I put it on the lathe and just kept turning until I had a tenon that was plenty long and the same size as the template that I cut. When I took it off the lathe, the tenon was still just a little bit too large to fit into the mortise that I had drilled. So I decided to use my card scraper and bring it down to the size that I needed. When I turned this, I made sure that the tenon was longer than I needed. So here I'm just trimming it off at the bandsaw to where the tenon does not bottom out into the mortise. And then I am shaping the bottom side of the mallet head. I have to leave the top square for the moment so that I can use it as reference at the table saw to get the angles cut into the sides. And because of the swooping angle on the mallet head, I needed the shoulder of the handle to match that same arc. So that it actually ended up making it one of the most difficult things about this mallet, but I think it was a nice detail. Then I just grabbed a chisel and cleaned up around the edge of that shoulder until it had a pretty nice fit. The mallet head was pretty small already and so the safest way I could figure to trim the edges to the final size that it needed to be because this was at an angle was to just take blade width passes so that it's just basically turning the edges to dust as I went and it took quite a few passes but it worked well. At this point in the process, I have the rough shape of the head done and that is looking good. Um, I have roughed out the mallet handle on the bandsaw. Now I'm going to finesse the, the shaping of it a little bit more, probably with a Shinto rasp. Um, just put it in my leg vise here and work on it for a little while. So I'm gonna get to that.
Up to this point, uh, I've got the mallet glued together. Uh, I used epoxy to give me a little extra hold for any gaps I had right there at the base. I went ahead and marked out a center line here basically just using a ruler to center it up down the handle as close as possible. And the reason for that is I'm using some quarter inch brass round stock to put a couple of pins in here. And I'm gonna drill that out, put the pins in, and then we're gonna peen those over to kind of hold them. All right, so it's the next day. I've got the pins in here, the brass pins. If you can see this bottom one right here is a little bit longer than this top one. I might file that down a little bit. It's the same way on both sides. I'm not quite sure how much material I need to leave out of there to do the peening. I'm going to use a ball peen hammer and a piece of steel under it and just kind of hammer it around until I mushroom that brass over. Um, I know there's probably a fine line between how much material you need to be rounding over versus not having enough. I've never done it before. This is something I haven't tried, so let's give it a go. Well, I shouldn't have uh, had these stray marks here, but I've never done this before. So it was kind of bouncing off of it and the hammer was, was hitting and rounding and hitting into my material. But I think that turned out pretty good. I think it looks pretty darn good for having never done that. This, this is all just epoxy that I need to sand off. If that's the worst that comes of it, I'm fine with it. I will say if you do this, originally when I put the pins in, I had chamfered the edges just a little bit so they weren't sharp and so they wouldn't catch as you hammer them all the way through the mallet. Well, that also helped because it didn't have a sharp edge that you were rounding over. Well, the one that was longer that I had to file, um, it ended up putting a sharp edge back on it because I, I filed it enough that that chamfer was gone. So I had to work a little extra hard to kind of peen right over on that edge to make sure it wasn't sharp. Hit it with the sander real quick and this thing's almost ready for finish. For the finish on this mallet, I'm going to be using Odie's oil. Uh, this is new to me. I did a test earlier today on a different piece of wood. It's supposed to be a really simple uh, finish to use. It's basically a hard wax oil and um, you basically just spread a little bit on there and then wipe it off. It looks almost like applesauce. It smells really good. I just put a very little on here and I'm just going to take this white scotch Bright pad and kind of buff it in. That looks awesome. This Jatoba just comes to life with a little bit of finish on it. Don't know what this is gonna do to the brass. I'm just putting it on everything. A little bit of curl in this hickory handle right there. Love how it brings out the curl. Now I've just got a clean rag, cotton rag. I'm just gonna buff off any of the excess.
Thanks so much for watching this video. It was fun making this mallet. Uh, it was a recreation, like I said, from this old mallet. This was from my great grandfather. They reused everything and we think this is an old wagon wheel that uh, probably broke and they cut it and he made a mallet out of it. Anyway, I'm probably going to be using this mallet. This one is not going to be used. I'm gonna actually make a plaque and a hanger for it so it can hang in my shop and just, I can look at it and remember him. This was the first time I had ever done any of this peening, you know, where you take it and kind of round over that metal. I like it. I'm already thinking of other projects I can use it on. I'd love to know if you have more ideas or knowledge about this, you know, this type of metal work and peening it over I do see a couple of splits right here along the edge of the brass, so I don't know if it got too hard by me hammering on it or got brittle. Thanks again for coming along for the ride. I'll see you on the next video. Hmm.